All right, welcome back to another video on the database demo using Java. In this video, we're going to implement the update one function. So you can see we're looking for an ID number and then that ID will have all of its data replaced by this object that we pass called a beautiful thing named B. So we have some code that we programmed earlier, update one. We can probably copy and paste that and that'll get us started. So let's highlight everybody copy that and put it into our database service here under database work. Let's check all the errors. It looks like we have to add the exception handler at the beginning. Okay, we're returning an integer and it looks like we're ready to go. So the um, connection we're going to make is a prepared statement again. So I'm going to rename that and this thing is going to go away c dot prepared statement and the sql command is looking like this one so I'll copy him and put in our quotes then here the execute no longer needs the statement okay so now we need to set all of the attributes of our new object here so we're going to set uh, the title and then we're going to reset the other objects here. So title and then the thing uh, description. And then finally we're going to set the uh, value as well. Okay, and then where ID equals a number, another number. Okay, so this time we have one, two, three, four question marks. So let's go a statement dot set. Let's see, the first item is the title. So that's going to be a string. And that's called number one. So we want to get this from our object that was passed in here. So the object has got the letter B as its assignment. So B, and we want to get the title. So get the title is that function there. Okay, statement two is going to be another string and two is going to get the description, b.getDescription. That's looking like it. The third item, the third question mark up here is the value. So let's do a set integer and parameter three and this is going to be get, oh, it looks like rating and rating is the command. Let's double check on the column names here. Thing value and it gets the rating. So a little bit of misnaming there perhaps. Now we have one more question mark. So he's number four and that is the ID that has to match. So let's do a statement dot set integer for number four and that is the value of the parameter ID. So whatever ID we told it to reassign is going to come from that parameter there. Okay, it looks like the rest of it has no other issues. So let's save the work. Now, how do we use this? So let's go into demo and let's, uh, let's update somebody. So let's do a new, uh, new beautiful thing. So let's say B, I'm gonna create a new one. B equals a new And let's see, we're going to assign this thing some number. It doesn't really matter the number. Uh, we're going to um, give it a new happy thing in life. Okay, so freshly mowed grass makes me feel good. All right, so that is the new good thing. And I am going to replace this object here. Let's see, we'll pick one that we're going to update. Let's say we're going to get rid of one of these and replace it with fresh grass. So let's see. we got two kitties here, so let's do number seven. I'm going to replace seven. So I'm going to say uh, ds and what is the uh, command? It's called update. Update one. So id number seven, and we're going to use this parameter b. Okay, let's see what happens now. We need to um, go ahead and check to see if 
seven will change. So we'll run this. Okay, so it printed what it had in its database. Let's go check it out. Browse this. Number seven changed to freshly mowed grass. So it looks like the update function is working. And you've got yourself a demo that can call each of these functions and the database service that seems to be working uh, as it was supposed to be designed. So we've reached the end of this section on creating a data service. Now, since we've got all these things in here, you could go through and delete all the classes that were created in previous videos because we've got one left that we really need. So we'll go ahead and right click and delete and away it goes.